Let's see. Hi, everyone. I'm Tucker McCormick. I'm the COO of Showman. And let's see, there we go. So we have been around Dallas for a little bit, but we've kind of been um, pretty small. We've stayed as uh, mainly a directory company called Rome. And what we've done is that we are now an interactive signage company. Um, you know, we're, we have a platform for uh, to build and manage interactive signs. Uh, but we've tried to take out all of the crazy development costs that are pretty typical when it comes to uh, touchscreen interactive uh, software. So similar to how WordPress uh, will allow non-technical users to really create really good websites, um, our platform allows touch signs to, you know, to simple, easy, and you know, really don't break the bank. So what we've, um, we're, there we go. Um, so why have we looked at digital? Um, you know, most businesses need to convey information to either visitors, customers, um, but there's kind of a problem. When you don't have digital, they look pretty terrible. Um, so millennials, you know, everyone our age, is really, you know, highly impacted by digital. We have our, you know, smartphones, we have computers, tablets, TVs, and when we go out into public, we kind of ex expect a similar level of engagement um, with those spaces as well. And so what we've done is, you know, we look at you know this huge impact. We're seeing the data that is proving that technology is really having an, an impact on these physical spaces, and um, you know there's just absolutely um, you know hand over fist uh, a big big you know impact that uh, these digital and interactive signs have. So our solution is that we're created kind of two applications. One is you know, our main focus is our touchscreen. This is the Atlas. And uh, the Atlas is really our premier product that um, allows interactive signage to be very customizable. Um, it allows very, uh, various templates, unique layouts, and a really flexible deployment. And the other one will be our non-touch option, the Glance. So this is much more for the simple um, you know, needs of smaller businesses or smaller buildings, uh, but it still allows for all the dynamic uh, interaction like rotating content, animations, um, and more of that the Atlas provides. So one of the deals that you can look at in going to Comerica Bank Tower. So right up the street, we actually have four deployments with them. Um, they've used their inter uh, our interactive directory uh, in their main lobby, but they've also brought down um, three of our glances. And these glances have now been on the elevator banks uh, as you walk in the building, and they act more as information boards to really uh, greet people as they walk in the building and inform them about what's going on in their daily life. Um, but one of the biggest problems with um, you know, looking at signage is people think of it as an ROI. And it's just gonna be a bottom line cost, and that's just not the case. Uh, the great thing with digital is that you get a lot of data. And you know, a part of that is there are four main returns that we can get. And the first one is just impression. When people are walking into a, you know, a building or a public space, and they see digital signage, roughly 70% actually are, are taking in that image. And so your impression, is you know, really having a huge impact when you're looking at branding um, or marketing or anything else. The next will be opportunity. Right? There are t when we look at digital signage, um, retail specifically has about 30 up to 60% increase in sales when they're using digital signs over non-digital. Now, the opportunity cost alone really makes it you know, almost un like uncomprehensible not to move in this direction. Um, next is engagement. When you have printed material, you're really not able to understand the engagement that material has on your user. But when you have especially interactive technology, this is where you can actually track the data and see how people are actually engaging with your message. And the last is objectives. Our objectives um, you know, save time and money. Not only are you going green by not having to print everything, but you don't have to go out, print it, take off your previous stuff, go put on your new stuff, and then somehow get rid of everything. So you're saving a lot of time and effort um, by going in and using digital. So how does this work? Right? What we've done is we've really tried, you know, just like I said, to use something similar to a website. And with this website, you go in, log into a system, right? you'll look at our dashboard, you'll select a pre-designed template that, you know, just like WordPress or Squarespace, you can use and then fill it out with your unique content. What that does then is it's deployed onto your actual screens on location. So we'll provide our hardware, we provide the real software platform, 
and we also do full service support. So we'll have designated account managers really focusing on customer success because that's really where um, we create the most value for all of our clients. But what we're doing is really trying to go beyond directories. Right? We've been doing this for a little while and it's a market, we've really cut our teeth on it, but the opportunities are limitless. Right? Our technology is really not limited to the actual hardware. So I can, we can use um, three-story video walls, glass projection, tablets, you know, to flat tabletop screens that you can use to interact um, and convey a message to um, anyone you want. Um, and so at the end of the day, what we're trying to do is going from just real estate, moving on to retail, hospitals, uh, stadiums, and making it, you know, show them the idea. All right. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. Q&A. We've got one right here. Where else are you looking to go? Um, we're really open to um, any environment. So what we're looking at is uh, retail specifically. Um, with directories, we've had a real big focus on um, wayfinding. So helping people you know, reach a location, but also convey a message to help them make decisions when they're there, or you know, for advertising purposes, to push them towards those locations. So retail, uh, stadiums is another big option where getting around. You know, it can be very difficult. And so really any of these options are, are capable. So if uh, wayfinding is, is something that you found really helpful that you can do, um, I know that the Dallas Underground Tunnels are definitely in need of some wayfinding and uh, possibly some maps and interactive things like that. Have you possibly tried to reach out to the city or to people like Michael that might be able to get you in touch with the right people? Yeah, we've, uh, I've talked to Michael for a second about it. We've been doing a really big development push to really get our product um, much more capable of uh, supporting all these diverse needs rather than just a, a focus on directories. Um, but that is definitely something that we've uh, looked at. Typically with those, the building owns different segments, so it can be very difficult to get a coordinated effort between all of them. You mentioned account executives. Talk a little bit about your overhead and the scalability of the model. Um, our overhead's actually fairly low on the, the software side. I mean, we have, um, you know, Dennis has created a great platform that really doesn't um, cost us too much on that side. With our account executives, um, outside of the initial training and setup, um, you know, our biggest problem has been, hey, my screen's black, what do I do? And then we tell them to turn it on, and, you know, <laughs> usually that, that works. So with our account executives, they're really there to kind of, you know, help make sure that they're self-sustainable. And you know, once that, that happens, we really think that you know, account executives can really hold um, 50 to 100 um, clients at the same time, maintain those relationships, um, and really through you know, mass communication, keep people up to date on new developments and everything else that are going on. Are you in revenue? Are you making money? Uh, yes, we've been in revenue since we started. We bootstrapped it the whole way. So. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, yeah, so we're still uh, looking for, um, you know, quite a bit. We're growing, so we've still been on the, you know, break-even level as we've, you know, developed and really proved the concept with directories. Um, so as we're going out, we've started to, um, you know, seek investment and, um, you know, pushing sales in different arenas as well. How about municipalities? I've noticed that the government sucks at just about whatever they try to do, including <laughs> digital displays in the... In City Hall, have you, have you thought about going after municipalities? We've actually talked to City Hall and, and a couple other areas, so that's um, easily one of those you know, great opportunities, and it really depends on can they actually execute once we uh, present them with an opportunity. Okay. No more questions? Uh, oh. How can we help you do <laughs> All right, so <laughs> the question was how can uh, you guys help? And really we're here. Um, you know, to get the word out. So we want to um, really kind of break out of our really small focus and, you know, come out in the, the Dallas community as another great startup that's, you know, really tech focused and able to move forward with that and really kind of see and, you know, gain partnerships and how we can break into other industries, um, you know, in particular with, you know, retail is, is one of our biggest focuses over in 2016. All right. Thank you. Up next.